Hi, I can't help but notice you haven't had your tech news today. And that's a problem. I'm upset. Apple's M1 processor is only a few months old, but it's already being attacked by malware designed specifically for the new MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and Mac Mini. Come on! Ah, they're babies! It's a baby. It seems that the M1 Gold Rush that saw developers scrambling to release versions of their apps that could natively run on M1 systems also prompted the bad guys to do the same with viruses. The news comes from Mac security researcher Patrick Wardle and security firm Red Canary. But strangely, Malwarebytes also reported this week that detections of malware in macOS overall decreased by 38% in 2020. I read you. So 38% of malware developers switch gears to making M1 malware. And now it's just coming out. Okay. Ah, cool. that's how it works. The system works. You don't think so? Then why are M1 Macs discounted at several retailers right now, huh? Oh. I know economics. Bill Gates. Hmm. It's conspiracies. Your s lizard scales are showing. <laughs> Kill Gates. We haven't reported on Epic Games versus Apple shenanigans for a while, but it seems like this story cycle is spinning up again as Epic has filed a complaint with the European Commission over what they see as Apple's monopolistic app store practices. Monopolistic? What did I say? Monopolistic. Monopolistic. But that's not all. North Dakota, or Dakota, as Riley would say it, <laughs> also put forward a state bill this week that would, if passed, prevent Apple and Google from taking a cut of the sales from the iOS App Store and the Google Play Stores, respectively. The bill's draft was actually put forward by a lobbyist hired by Epic Games, although Epic said the bill was actually the work of the Coalition for App Fairness, which is basically a group of companies that Epic got together to help them fight Apple. Same diff. It wasn't me, it was the club I started and pretty much run. It's a great club to join, <laughs> please. It's not a shell company. Similar bills are being put forward in Arizona and Georgia, so if you think this whole thing is over, well, baby, it's just beginning. Ooh. Georgia, the state. Georgia. Maybe they're doing it in the country of Georgia, I don't know. Oh, no, no, Crazy state. kids over there. Yeah. And Google and Facebook are starting to get desperate to avoid a world in which they're forced by a proposed Australian legislation to pay news publishers for linking to their articles. Uh, the news publishers' articles, not Google and Facebook's articles. I mean, come on, Australia's supposed to be chill. Come on, boys. In retaliation for the bill, Facebook has blocked Aussie users from sharing or even seeing news content on Facebook at all and Australian publishers have had all the links to their content blocked as well. Facebook announced the news with a blog post hilariously titled, Changes to Sharing and Viewing News on Facebook in Australia. We're just doing some changes, okay, it's all right. <laughs> it's pretty clear actually. <laughs> Meanwhile, Google is wheeling and dealing with Aussie news publishers trying to get enough of them to agree to receive some Google cash for appearing in Google News Showcase instead of getting straight up paid to show up and search. They have made a deal with News Corp, the media company owned by Rupert Murdoch, but it's unclear whether the Australian bill will still go through. Let's hope they figure something out though. The thought of my mates down under having to use Bing is making me sicker than a washed up wallaby. Yeah, if you ever seen one, they're quite sick. And when they're washed up, they're gross. Oh, yep. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by the Drop Sennheiser PC37X gaming headset. It's got an open back design and the same drivers from the classics HD598 and HD600 headphones for clearer audio, whether you're playing games or music. The PC37X has a noise canceling mic optimized to handle unpleasant pops and hisses, and it automatically mutes when you rotate it upwards. Plus, the 10 foot braided cable leaves you lots of room to shake your head in frustration when you get utterly pwned online like I do. Don't be an absolute pleb, GGHF. Get the PC37X today at the link below. No BM. Look. They're just quick bits, man. LastPass has downgraded the features of its free tier, with users who don't pay for a premium subscription now limited to using the password manager on only one type of device. So you can either use it on phones, tablets, and smartwatches, or on desktops and laptops, etc. Thankfully, there are a number of other great free password managers out there, so we don't need to use this. But wait, if the iPad Pro is a laptop, could you? Whoa. What about a Surface Pro? Microsoft is releasing an update that would allow select legacy Xbox One titles to run at two to four times their original frame rate on the Xbox Series S and Series X, which is a pretty great deal given that no original game code was altered. The tech called FPS Boost affects game, game performance at the direct 3D level. 
For this initial rollout, only five games are supported. Far Cry 4, Watch Dogs 2, UFC 4, Sniper Elite 4, and New Super Lucky's Tale. That last one is definitely not an FPS, but maybe there's a DS DLC coming where you get a Gatling gun or something. New, new! Conquered bad Super fur day. <laughs> Redux. Samsung says their new HBM2 memory has an included AI processor with up to 1.2 teraflops of computing power, which can take on tasks like moving data between memory and processors that are normally managed by a CPU. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> What's next, Samsung? My RGB strip getting delusions of grandeur and doing my taxes? Ha! <laughs> Screw you, Samsung! F out of here, Samsung! <laughs> Vice President of Facebook Reality Labs, Andrew Boz Bosworth, indicated during an Instagram Q&A session that the Oculus Quest 2 could be updated to support a 120 hertz refresh rate. The Quest 2 original refresh rate was up to 72 hertz before it was updated to 90. Okay, cool. But my question is, when does it stop, Oculus? <laughs> when the Valve Index drops to half the price because the Quest 2 is getting so good? Okay, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that, that'd, be, that'd good. be a good place to stop. Yeah, that's a good place to stop. And a developer who named their company very positive in a blatant attempt to trick Steam users into thinking their game's reviews were very positive, when in fact said reviews were mixed, has been banned from the platform. <laughs> the developer tweeted that Valve banned them from manipulating reviews and they absolutely disagree with this accusation. And you know what? They might have a point. Yeah. Let's hear them out. Dude, both sides have something to say. <laughs> there, you have your tech news, but you're not done. I hereby instruct you to return on Friday for more. And the Monday after that, and the Wednesday, Wednesday following that then. You know the tech news then, thank you. Wednesday will have all the tech news. <laughs> something that isn't cannot be.